Hey guys, it's Justine, and today I'm gonna to show you one of my most favorite pieces of tech that I've been using over the past couple of months, and this thing has completely, honestly, actually changed my life. Huge thank you to Bravo for sponsoring this video. They have been so incredibly supportive of me, my channel, and even Vlog University. They gave us a few Bravas to give out to some of the attendees. So not only is the oven incredible, but their entire company has been so generous and so thoughtful and just very supportive of me and my community. So for the past few years, I've been focusing a lot on my health, my fitness, and sort of just general all-around well-being. The one thing that I noticed is I wasn't really seeing the results that I wanted and unfortunately I had to tell myself Justine it is the foods that you're eating. My day-to-day -day was either eating out or frozen food or ordering delivery. So last year Bravo reached out and wanted me to check out this oven and I was extremely excited because it was one of the most technologically advanced things that I had seen and obviously being a technology lover and someone who can't cook this was something that I felt was right up my alley and I couldn't wait to try it out. It cooks with a combination of visible and infrared light so this allows the food to cook faster and more efficiently than most ovens or microwaves. There's six high-powered lamps that turn off and on in between cooking and can focus on specific zones in the oven without heating the area around it. So this allows you to cook multiple items at the same time on the same plate and those would normally have to be cooked separately. It has eight temperature sensors, two particle detectors, and one of my favorite things, a camera. You can watch your food cook without ever even having to open the oven and it connects to an app. You could be watching your food live on your phone while it cooks. If you wanna pause a cook, you can control it on your phone. It connects to Wi-Fi, so it will do updates over the air. You can get recipe updates, software updates, and it's always so exciting when I come downstairs and I realize that there are some new recipes added. They work specifically with Brava chefs to design these recipes so that you can do multiple cooks on the same pan. The app has a bunch of different recipes built in, so it'll show you exactly what you need to make that recipe. So sometimes I will go through the app, find a really cool recipe, get all of the ingredients, and I'll feel like an actual chef because I will pull off this incredible meal and really I didn't do anything. I just put some stuff on some pans where it told me to put them and the oven does the rest. But now I want to take you into my food vlog. Here we go. Good morning, it's time for breakfast. Normally I actually eat two breakfasts. Mostly if I go to an early gym class or jujitsu or something like that, I try to eat something very small before I go to class. Maybe some fruit or some oatmeal. And then I come back and I have a second breakfast, which is usually a breakfast sandwich or a breakfast frittata. Usually something containing eggs for protein. So today we're gonna make one of my favorite little breakfast sandwiches. It's actually an open-faced breakfast sandwich. But in the Bravo menu selection, I just choose breakfast sandwich and we take it from there. When I first started using this oven, I followed the recipes exactly. And as you kind of learn the temperament of this oven, you'll figure out different ways to change things up and make it your own. One of my favorite things about this oven is there's so many different pans for it. So we have a square pan. This is the muffin tin, loaf pan, and glass tray. For my breakfast sandwich, I'm gonna need two of these pans. This is the egg tray and this is the metal tray. This one is my favorite because I eat eggs almost every single day, but you can use this to make all sorts of different things. I even saw they had a brownie recipe, which looked incredible. I didn't try it, but I'm tempted. It even has a temperature sensor. This plugs right into the oven, so this helps you get an accurate read of whatever it is that you're cooking, if it's a fish or a meat, so that it'll be a perfect temperature when it comes out for you to eat. So we got our eggs and an English muffin, and I like to put a half slice of jack cheese on each piece, so it's actually a half slice, but a half of a half. The cheese will melt in the oven and the muffin will be toasted at the same time, and it's perfect. Since this is something that I cook often, I usually just go into Reese's, click egg and cheese breakfast sandwich, determine how many I'm going to be making. Even though I'm making one, I'm using two eggs. It tells you exactly where to place the bread, exactly where to place the eggs. If you want to adjust your time, I like a little bit runnier of an egg, so I decreased it by 6%. One last check before you're ready to go, and that's it, time to cook. My favorite part about this is the fact that this oven has a camera inside of it. So what I do a lot of times is I will make my sandwich, I will go up and take a shower really quick and I will keep the live camera open to see how much time I have left so I can keep showering and get down here in just enough time for my sandwich to be done. It's done! It also gives you an option if I wanna to touch up the cook, but this looks pretty good to me. Oh, I mean, these are perfection. I like to add a little salt and pepper and then these are good to go. It's gonna be an open face sandwich. It's so perfect. 
Breakfast is my favorite part of the day. That's why I usually eat breakfast twice. And now I'm gonna make some blueberry muffins to have as a snack throughout the week. I'm gonna change this recipe up a little bit from what is on the Brava app. I have made this recipe on the Brava one and it was so incredible, but I wanna add some oatmeal, so hopefully it still turns out okay. That's one of the fun things that I love about the Brava oven is I will kind of follow these recipes and then you can change it up a little bit to make it your own. So fingers crossed that this one works. is made and the only cupcake liners that I could find were some from Halloween since I don't really do baking videos anymore. <laughs> Remember when I said I was making blueberry muffins and I forgot to put the blueberries in? So we're now rapidly preheating the oven. And one of the things that I love about this as opposed to regular baking, it preheats really quickly and it doesn't emit a lot of heat from the actual oven itself. These look so good. Can't wait to try them. Muffins are done. How are they looking? Let's see. I'm so excited. It's always so nerve wracking when you change up a recipe because you don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm already super happy with this. These are pretty healthy. They're basically just like oatmeal honey, flour. This is still warm too, look at that. Oh yeah, I need to get a fork. So for this recipe, I didn't use any sugar to sweeten it, I used honey. So it's definitely less sweet than a normal blueberry muffin, but it still is really good. It tastes like health. I need a testimonial from you. Yeah. How are the blueberry muffins that I made? Very lovely, they were incredible. They were very good. And right now I'm actually making a breakfast sandwich in the broth. No way, show me! Oh, this wasn't even planned. It's the um, homemade bread that Jill made and sent over. Oh and my eggs. gosh, that looks so good. Well, enjoy your breakfast. I'm gonna just keep editing my video here. Okay, bye. Bye. So it's time for lunch and Jenna brought over one of her favorite things to make in the Brava oven. Frozen sweet potato fries, absolute favorite. So I'm making myself some salmon and vegetables and salad and Jenna doesn't eat meat. So she's basically gonna show us her favorite lunch and then I'll show you my favorite lunch. So Jen, prep your sweet potatoes. Well, I, I eat other things. This is just like my favorite like little snack. These look so good. Okay, what type of pan are we gonna need? I have just washed this. So is there just a setting in here? Yeah. You can search for uh, sweet potato fries. Okay. Frozen sweet potato fries. Yep, that's it. Crinkle or straight? What do we have? These are straight. Well, Jenna's getting her fries ready and prepped. I'm gonna get my salmon ready. Would you like to do the honors? Oh, yeah. Yours is blue? You can change the color. No yep. way. Yep, in the settings. Get out of here. It turned blue. This is where I put it. Jenna, they're done. Okay. Yes. Look at those. Oh man, I'm taste testing before you. Oh, I'm so hot. These are fantastic. Mm. Yeah, thanks for bringing over your favorite stuff. Oh, yes, always. Okay, here you go, Jen. All for you. We just take one more. Thank you. Mm. You can right. take some. Time to make the salmon. Okay, we've sent the salmon to my oven, so you guys can see right here, click it. And now we're gonna go through, we've got two fillets, and now this is telling me to enter the thickness. This is actually a measure, so now let's measure our salmon. And then, on here, with a little graphic, it coincides with the height. Plugging it into our meat first. The salmon goes into the bottom shelf, and then we plug in the temperature sensor right here on the side. Skin on. Skin on. Look at you guys. The fact that we have this temperature sensor, we'll know exactly the proper cook. And there we go. Oh yeah. Salmon is my favorite. I'll have the salmon. Can't wait for dinner.
Time for dinner. I love dinner. It's one of my favorites, other than breakfast and lunch, of course. Those are also my favorites. I just like food. So for dinner, I'm gonna make chicken and cauliflower. This recipe actually has broccoli, but it works exactly the same. So this is usually what I use when I'm making chicken and cauliflower. So I'm just gonna go through and follow this recipe. This takes about 16 minutes total time. My favorite feature is being able to just send this recipe right to my oven. So I click that little paper airplane, sends to the Brava and it shows up. And this shows you exactly where everything should be aligned. And it tells me which shelf to put it in. And there I got my notification that my chicken thighs, boneless and skinless and broccoli has started. And if I click it, it will launch up the live stream. This will give me just enough time to prep a salad. Look at that. And here it is. Dinner is served. Check that chicken out. Maddie, you can't have any chicken because you're allergic. Oh, these are cooked perfectly. Oh my gosh, so good. Mm, incredible. They also have a really awesome community. So on their Facebook page, people share custom cooks that they created. You can choose ones that you like and then you can just download them right to your oven. So that vlog was kind of an example of what I eat throughout the day when I'm at home working. I also do snack a lot throughout the day, but it's usually on healthy snacks. I'm always looking for some added protein. So I'll have a protein bar. There's also these really good peanut butter protein bars that I eat a lot of. Sometimes I'll just go for a couple scoops of peanut butter, almonds, cashews, oatmeal bars, whatever fruit I might have in the fridge. I love bananas, blueberries, strawberries. Thank you again for watching. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check out more information about the Brava oven. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.